welcome back to my channel everybody this is Donnie and you're watching diamond painting by Donnie um, today I am unboxing a diamond painting from dreamer designs this is my very first dreamer designs canvas and I didn't really know much about the company so I took some time and I went through their website watched all their little videos and read up on some of the information that I normally would know about a diamond painting um, they are based in Canada. Um, the Dreamer Design headquarters is in Canada, uh, but they have a warehouse in Los Angeles. Um, their diamond paintings are manufactured in China, and because they have a warehouse in Los Angeles, it makes for quick delivery in the United States. And I got this, like, super quick. It only took, like, three days for me to get it after they said that they were going to send me one. So one of the very first things that most of you will notice is that they have this convenient little handle on the top for carrying it around. If you're going to keep it stored in the box, that would be very convenient. Now this diamond painting is called Mystic Tiger. It is by an artist called uh, Flash W Designs. And she is an artist out of Russia. So this canvas is normally $44.99. It's on sale right now for $39.99. It's a 50 by 40 with 22 colors and it is square. Okay. So I have so many boxes that um, I won't probably store this in the box. I'll probably store it in hanging with my other designs. Although, um, with their canvas, from what I read on their site, you won't be getting wrinkles because of the type of canvas they use. And it is poured glue, and they use a 100% woven polyester canvas. So, I don't think I've received one with this type of canvas before. Uh, at least none that I know of that it's that type but actually I don't think I have felt a canvas like this before so this is what a 100% woven polyester canvas looks like I know it kind of is hard to tell by looking through a camera mostly it's the feel that you can you can tell what kind it is by the feel so there's the canvas and they do put them on foam rollers And here we have our drills and the toolkit. And you know me, I always like to go through the toolkit first, if you do know me. So what do we have in this bag? We have two drill pins. We have a pair of pointy tweezers. We have some baggies. It looks like they put quite a few baggies in, possibly enough for to kit this up, especially since this only has 22 colors. This does feel like there are at least 22 bags here. So there, yeah, you could start diamond painting on this right away with everything that is included here. All right, they also give you a, well, this kit came with a six-placer and a three-placer. And if you don't know what those look like, that is what they look like. They give you two jar containers of wax that have their emblem on the top. And it looks like these are the kind where you need to actually peel off the protective, yeah, there's a protective coating on the top and the bottom of the wax itself. So make sure you pull that off before you try and dip your pen in the wax. So you get two of those. You get two purple squishies, and I think that is their trademark color. So I believe they probably put purple in all of them. When I was watching one of their videos where they were packing up the toolkit, they were also putting purple squishies in. So. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the color that comes with all of them. And then you get a tray that has their 
logo on it, a white tray. So there is the toolkit. Set this to the side here. All right, and the baggies. All right, so let's look at the canvas next. Now I like tigers and you know unicorns and things like that. Tigers are like my favorite animal. Real animal, I should say. So they give you this large instruction sheet, which is in several languages. So for English, it's just this first column and it's a pretty detailed pamphlet on how to diamond paint, if you aren't aware how. And on the other side are more languages. So that's quite a bit. There's three, six, nine, 12 different languages. All right, now we get to see the canvas. All right, so it's a 50 by 40. And here it is. So yeah, there's no, there's no wrinklage in the canvas itself. It does have, of course, the wrinkles on the cover paper because that always happens when you roll it. And I'm going to actually roll it the other direction to try and flatten it. Because sometimes it's really hard to get to the cover paper to take it off when the canvas doesn't want to behave. And this is one of the ways you can help make it flat. All right, there we go. That works great. So it says the design is 50 by 40, um, fabric is 58 by 48. And they do have the surged edges on, the, on all four sides. And these aren't numbered, but they do have the key at the top right and the bottom left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23. There's actually 23 colors. And let me change that in my book. All right. So these are some unique symbols. I've um, Some of these I have not seen used before um actually just basically the one it's a plus sign and it takes up the whole thing so it looks like there's four small boxes but they're not anything out of the ordinary really um, they're nicely colored you can see that they the symbols themselves have nice bright colors so they kind of go with the number that you're the color of the number you're placing on the canvas like 154 is right here and that is a burgundy color so you can see the outside box on it is the color of the drill so that's what I'm guessing what these colors will be is what that outside box is going to be of course 310 is black and that's black so so far, so good. I know 823 is a dark blue, and that's what that is. So let's look at this drill field. Yeah, let's see if we can get the glare off. All right, so I'm not sure if that orange is a block of orange. Yeah, it is. So that's why I can't see a symbol. We have uh, two different colors that are just a block of color, 796 and 918. So we're going to have a purple block color, and you can see that right there, or blue. And um, it's a little hard to read if that's a Q or an O, but if we go over to the chart, I'm sure they don't have both a Q and an O. And yeah, it's 
it's this O. It's the green background with a yellow O. So that's what that is. Um, they're just, I think it's just because the O is printed too thin. So it's a, makes it kind of blurs into the background. But then you can see these other colors, these other symbols. They're pretty distinguishable. I mean, they don't have any two symbols that are very similar to where you're not going to be able to figure out what they are. Um, like the right arrow is the 310. Because the arrow kind of looks like just a dash, but they don't have a dash. So it's obvious that's what this one is. And I mean, there is a lot of color. Uh, it's not a lot of colors, just 23 colors, yes, but there is a lot of color changes. Because So this is like a confetti heavy image. And you're probably wondering why I chose such an image, um, but I didn't find any that they had in stock that were, that had a lot of color blocking. In fact, you know, a lot of, in fact, I do believe that all of the images that they have on their website are, have a lot to them. So there, there isn't any that have like a major amount of blocking. They did have a couple that may have been, but they were sold out of those. They, um, they only have a select few images and I know that they are coming out with new ones here in the next month. They're coming out with, um, some other newer images. Um, but because I'd never unboxed one before they went ahead and sent me one of their, um, original um, images so that, uh, I'll be able to see the difference between these and the newer ones, you know, uh, checking the sticky here. It's, um, I'm not sure. I mean, some places seem stickier than others, but I think it's, yeah, I must have just hit a dead spot because, yeah, this is sticky. I believe it's poured glue. I didn't see anything that indicated um, whether it was poured glue or... It is. It's got to be poured glue because this is the cellophane cover and it doesn't stop where the glue stops. So... Um, I'm, I'm sure so they've only been around that I'm aware of. They've been around for about a year, a little over a year now. And with any new company, they, they have things, the learning curve that they are, have been working on or they're working on to improve. And I think that may be where their next kits come in to play the 2.0. Dreamer Designs 2.0 come in is all the stuff that they are changing with it. I don't know. I, I really have only seen one unboxing from Dreamer Designs. And to be honest, it wasn't the best review. So it kind of made me not want to, you know, even try the company. But um, as I've grown and learned that companies do go through growing pains and they have a learning curve and this is a brand new this was a brand new company it was fairly new when i saw that unboxing and because they are coming out with this new line i thought well maybe i need to form my own opinion so that's when i reached out to them and apparently they had tried to reach out to me and I never, I never received anything from them. So it, there must've been a mix up in email addresses or something. I don't know, but we did touch base and I am now, as you can see, unboxing and trying them out. And 
I love this image. It is beautiful. I mean, especially because it does have the blues and the purples. It's got a lot of green. It's a very uh, jungle, jungly picture image. And I don't see there being an issue with being able to distinguish these symbols with a good light pad. And I do have a couple of good light pads. So, um, that is about all I can say about the canvas. Let's see. I wrote a couple. Yeah. Everything I wrote down. Oh, they do have this in a smaller size as well. They have it in a 40 by 30, which is normally $34.99 and it's on sale for $29.99. I don't know how long the sale goes for or if it's um, a clearance sale or whatnot. I just saw that on the website when I went to check the price on this. And let's look at those drills. Oh, I want to go ahead and measure it just to because it does say design size and fabric size because I do measure especially companies I've never ordered from before. See, this is right on the nose at 50. And going this direction, we have exactly 40. That is impressive. <laughs> All right. So, whoa. You don't want to see my jury summons. <laughs> Okay. And the bag just says Mystic Tiger. Um, and yeah, they, oh, and the, the other thing is, is they do, the artwork they use is exclusive to the artist that they have um, licensed the work out to them for. I don't know, I probably used too many words there, but yeah, and it says right on here that this one is legally licensed from uh, Flash W Designs. I think this is the only one that this artist has on their website. So I don't know if they're new. Like I said, I'm basically brand new to Dreamer Designs, so I don't know how long certain artists have been there and all that good stuff. But I did check to see if this artist had other work in the shop. All right. So here are, they did say that they um, use new material, not recycled material for their uh, drills. I did read that. And if I didn't tell you, this is a square. <laughs> so I, I'm a little disappointed it's not round, but um, I'm not sure if they only do round, only do squares. I did not check that, and I when I read about their um, their story, it didn't say anything whether they have rounds and square or just square. But this one is square. Um, I am I am kind of getting back into doing squares again, but I like how the package is pretty see clear, see through, so you can see the drills fairly well. There is nothing on here to match it with this canvas. So I know that these, this set of drills is for this canvas. Um, I guess the only way to, to determine that is just to go down and check off. So these have numbers on here going down that match the DMC number. Right. Okay. So we've got, let's start with number one here. We've got 310. And there are one, two, three, four, five, five bags of 310. And then the next one is 823, which this is. And we've got three bags of that, 796. So there's two bags of that. So where does number four start? There we go. It should be 890. Yep. And then 797, 904. 988, 814, 798, 154, 918, 
164, 720, 356, 721, 3778, 744, 799, 742, 758, and 3865. So they're all here. And it looks like the way they package them, because I was wondering why, um, what, how they determined the order that they put these on here, because they're not in order by um, DMC number. Uh, they are quite out of order. And I figured it because number one is 310 and it has the most drills. So they put the drills to colors with the most first. So 310 you're going to have the most of and then 3865 you have the least of. And you can see how there is very minimal in the end of the line. That's not important, but that's just something, my observation, I kind of wonder those things sometimes when they aren't listed in any particular order, but they are. That's how they list them. So these colors look really pretty. They do look clean. I mean, you can look in there. I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing the pits in the bottom, which you get a lot of the time on squares. And these look like they are really good drills. And yeah, all three of these colors I just looked at, you don't find any of the pits in the bottom. You can see they're really, they look uh, really well made. Yeah, so you keep going down, and I'm not seeing pits at all. So, I will give this a try, when I, but I'm only going to work on one square at a time. <laughs> so, I will um, work on this, and then my post review will just give my um, overall final thoughts and uh, how the canvas worked up, how the drills um, worked with if trash, whatnot, and, um, anything else that you can't determine before you do the diamond painting. But, you know, this is, like I said, it's my very first time ordering or getting a, a canvas from them. Um, and thank you very much to Dreamer Designs for sending this to me so that I could, you know, get a look at it myself since I am kind of late on jumping on that bandwagon. But yeah, I look forward to giving it a try. I I do like tigers and this is definitely a tiger. And it is it is actually a really pretty image. I never put it up for you. Here is what this image looks like. Because I know it is kind of hard to see through all this glare, but here, let's kind of see if I can give you the, there we go. He's got a cute face and it just kind of reminds me of Jungle Book when, you know, with Shere Khan stalking Mowgli, you know. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching and um, keeping me on my toes with trying new companies. I have been getting pretty stale in that department with trying new places. So I'm getting back on the wagon of um, communicating with more companies so that I can show you different places that you have options for to see what they're like before you put your money and your time out there in ordering something and I love my job so um, thank you again to Dreamer Designs and thank you every single one of you for watching and for hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing I look forward to seeing you guys again in my next video have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do take care everyone bye Thank you.